would you guide us in a practice uh, in whatever way you'd like with as much silence as you like? Because I know you've shared that your practice is one where the, you largely guide yourself, mm -hmm. but there's some, some structure to it. So if you would maybe share a little bit about your practice for those 20 minutes or so a day, what it is that it consists of in terms of what's guided or the ways you structure it. And then I would be very grateful if you would guide me and in turn others. All right, why don't we do five minutes? Uh, all I'll say is, so this is sort of the core from, from MBSR, which is that you keep going back to your breath, that that's really the, 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 the beginning and the end of it. And, and, what, and what they do in the, in the class is they guide you through things that would get you off of your breath, or they help you find your way back to your breath through the guiding that's provided. Uh, and there's some beautiful meditations that John Kabat-Zinn does. I mean, there's, there's a lake meditation and a mountain meditation. And, a, you know, there's just ways of there's body scans, you know, where you can just, there's different things you can do to um, help yourself get back to your breathing. And after doing that for a long time, I, I found that I, I can just do it anyway. And that what I need is just something to keep me coming back. And that's, you know, with Justice Breyer and the counting backwards in French. With me, I just need bells at, at an interval. So I have on my phone, I have a five minute interval set. And uh, if I meditate for 20 minutes, so the, the bells will ring right at the beginning and they'll ring at the end and they'll ring every five minutes during the meditation. And then my um, guidance to myself is just breathe. And if thoughts enter your mind when you're breathing, just notice them, then go back to your breathing. And then uh, if there are, are body sensations you have, notice them and go back to your breathing. So that's really the only guidance I have. Uh, and so why don't we just do five minutes? Wonderful. Thank you. And I'm going to close my eyes and breathe deeply. And we can start now.
Okay. I'm going to pretend the chime just went off. <laughs> you are the chime. <laughs> so Judge Fogel, thank you very, very much for all you've done for so many years to help improve and enrich the lives personally and professionally of judges, lawyers, law students, and uh, because it all ripples out society for what you're continuing to do now that you're at Berkeley. And, and I hope that uh, in the coming months, sooner than later, you and your wife are able to comfortably be with your grandchildren and that you're able to get over to uh, the, San, the Bay Area when summer uh, comes yeah, up. Well, I hope so too, Scott. Thank you. And, and, and I have to really appreciate all of the wonderful work you do as well. I mean, your, your writings are very, very important uh, and uh, part of the resource guide I always give people. I so, say, you know, you should read what Scott Rogers has written. So, so thank you. Well, that means more than you could know. That means a great deal. And thank you. And I look thank forward to our paths crossing in person. Um, Same here. Thank Take you. care. Bye.